the four noble truths chaturarya satya by rerukane chanda vimala mahatero translated by dj percy silva preface usually people have an erroneous understanding about being such as humans and animals and other objects of this world they incorrectly comprehend a series of actions which are not materials as material objects collections of small substances as huge objects collection of elements which does not have the nature of a being or person as beings and persons also what is impermanent as permanent what is inauspicious as beautiful suffering as pleasure cause of suffering as cause of pleasure and the real pleasure and the practice leading to it as a great danger the tathagata knew and proclaimed these as they really are the nature of the world as seen by the tathagata is referred to as arya satya or noble truth the person who has wrong notions about conditions in the world would think and act accordingly believing them to be the absolute truth and would discern the noble truth of the tathagata as false for this reason alone it is very difficult for them to comprehend this dhamma the ultimate essence of buddha dhamma is the four noble truths therefore if one is to be a true buddhist he should have some knowledge of the four noble truths not only the lay buddhists even the majority of the ordained do not have a silhouette type of knowledge of this noble truths these four noble truths are not a dhamma that can be comprehended by oneself without the assistance of another books should be written in a manner which is easy to comprehend so that buddhists can understand this dhamma at least to some extent such books are not available we compile this book with great effort and to the best of our knowledge in order to help the buddhists gain some knowledge of the noble truths even among the books of commentaries only the commentary called sammoda vinodana in vibhanga prakarana and visuddhi magga give a long description of the four noble truths generally people who do not know pali may not be able to use them knowing pali alone does not make it an easy task to read them and understand the four noble truths four noble truths are described in various books in a manner suited for comprehension by those well versed in the examination of paramattha dhamma found in the dhamma sangani prakarana those who read books with the idea that their true meaning can be comprehended by knowing the pali language alone without a prior knowledge of the paramattha dhamma will end up in the delusion that i know without really knowing such a delusive state is more dangerous than not knowing anything at all these days there are many who have learned pali read books and are also 
deluded. Our intention was to compile a book for those who do not have a prior knowledge of Pali and the examination of Paramatta Dhamma, but be able to acquire a pure knowledge of this Dhamma at least to some extent. Therefore, we have not taken the path taken by the likes of Samodha Vinodhani in describing the Four Noble Truths, but have taken a different path. Whichever way it is written, we have taken into consideration the need for the reader to understand each point easily. Books on the profound Dhamma cannot be written easily so as to give the meaning and intellectual satisfaction like in the case of the reader reading a novel who would effect effortlessly enjoy the meaning and the story. Therefore, the reader should also attempt to comprehend the Dhamma without merely expecting to understand Dhamma due only to the glory of the skill of the orator or the writer. Those who are desirous of knowing the Four Noble Truths should read this book over and over again, unlike a novel, which is read only once or twice and then discarded. He should retain in the mind the facts given in this book and reminiscence again and again. If so, anyone who knows English can acquire a good knowledge of the Four Noble Truths with the help of this book. May everyone read this book lovingly, learn the Four Noble Truths, become a true Buddhist, attempt to overcome the suffering in samsara and attain Nibbana. Rerukane Chandavimala Thero Sri Vine Alankarama Prakunavita Sri Lanka Year 1947, 6th February